everyone and welcome to Product Corner. This is the third week of July. Very happy to have you today. My name is Michelle. I'm a certified aromatherapist and I'm here to help you become the aromatherapist in your home through using N8 Essentials USDA certified organic essential oils. And we are so happy to be able to bring you essential oils that will give you peace of mind. Peace of mind that you're protecting the environment and peace of mind that you know that there are no fillers or adulterants added to the essential oils because they're being inspected by the United States Department of Agriculture and third party tested outside of N8 Essentials in order for peers, um, purity and efficacy. So we're so glad that you're here. We want to include you in our N8 community. If you're not already a part of our community, please uh, feel free to go to n8essentials.com or if you're watching this live, you can see the shop now button and click that button and you'll be able to order any of our products. If you're already a preferred customer, I wanna welcome you back for another fun day of uh, learning how to use the essential oils one project at a time and one drop at a time in your home. If you are not already a part of our N8 Essentials community and would like to, I would like to invite you to pay a one-time fee of $25. That is it, one time of $25. There's no yearly fee. And instead of paying retail, which you're more than welcome to do, we will give you 25% off and you'll be able to enjoy our essential oils whenever you order them, whether you just ordered this month and then you wait a couple of months and order a couple months later, we're here for you. Every month we're coming at you with a bundle. And this month we have the Freedom Bundle and for four weeks, we're going to show you and share with you how you can use each of those oils in different ways with your home, with your family, and with your loved ones. So let's get started today and let's start with it. What is our Freedom Bundle? If you're new and you haven't uh, tuned in yet, let's. Uh, the very first oil in our Freedom Bundle this month is lemon essential oil. Of course, it's lemony, citrus, and uh, definitely an uplifting type of essential oil. We also have our herbaceous Camporius um, Rosemary, which is wonderful. This is a great essential oil that is used in a lot of blends. We have basil, which is a very, um, not as easy oil to harvest as other essential oils, but it is wonderful, warm and spicy. It's actually one of my favorite essential oils as I tend to overwork, and this is a great essential oil to just help you breathe. And as you know, if you've been watching me, I'm kind of on the roof and very excitable, so I need to breathe <laughs> sometimes. And then we have our Energize Blend, which is an amazing blend that will give you motivation, uplifting, a stamina in the sense that all the citrus in it, the lemon, the grapefruit, the orange, the peppermint, the bergamot, this essential oil is just great at giving you that ability to stay motivated um, with that energizing feel. So all four of these essential oils are retail for $90, right around $90. And then wholesale, for those of you who are already preferred customers, are actually um, really close to $60. Now, just this month for our Freedom Bundle, we're giving you an additional discount and you can get all four of these essential oils for only $52. And then we're going to learn how to use them each and every week. So we've already discussed how to clean your grill. And then I've actually shared with you how to make a cooling rub. But today we're going to give you a stimulating, um, energizing, great for concentration and focus blend. and we're going to get started. I'm going to show you two different ways to use those today. And uh, the very first way is we're going to use an inhaler. If you do not have these, they're very, very easy to get. But if you don't have these, I don't want you to feel like you can't be a part of this. So what we're going to do is uh, use a cotton ball. Okay, so we will be doing that today. As well as, I'm um, maybe if you have a paracord bracelet or a leather bracelet. So gather those supplies as we get ready. So let's get a making. All right, so let's start with our focus blend. 
why do we need well when i say focus i just mean more stimulating you need to stay alert you need to either maybe you're learning a new task uh, maybe you need to make it through the day at work maybe uh, you're focusing on your financials for the month and you need a good two hours or so to just really maintain that focus actually i remember the last time i used this blend it was the middle of the night my taxes were due and i was just falling apart actually it was like one in the morning and I made myself this stimulating blend so that I could help stay focused. And I'm telling you, it was amazing. I felt like I could put each paper in its slot. Instead, like before I did it, I thought all the papers were everywhere. And after I used the oil um, and just smelled it, and then I didn't have inhalers. Um, I just had a, a cotton ball. So I put it in a cotton ball, put it in a plastic baggie, just inhaled and breathed. and. I was so amazed like I'm always still amazed at how wonderful essential oils are in giving you a response I'm I'm just just love it so anyway and I was able to finish I finished about three in the morning and uh, it was a great feeling so let's get started how would we do this so I'm going to share with you a little bit about blending we're going to start with the inhalers and today we're going to use basil rosemary and lemon and just know that if you don't have a lot of time just this freedom bundle that comes with the energized blend you can just drop this on your wrist and inhale and you'll be ready to go for a little bit of pick me up but for the aromatherapist let's talk about a real nice stimulating mental alert focus blend and we're going to start out with trying to find how which aroma is is preferable to you so when we make this inhaler we're going to start with lemon and we're going to put, um, I want to put eight drops. Now what I'm going to do is instead of starting with eight drops, I'm going to put um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we are going to start with eight drops. And then we're going to put, I'm going to start with two drops of rosemary. Ooh, I can already smell that. That's great. And then two drops of basil. Now, I'm going to then smell it, and it's nice. You can smell the lemon, of course, is the top note, and it's the quickest acting, and it has the most in it. So it's actually a very uplifting uh, scent, and you can smell a little bit of the rosemary. For the total, of, we're going to do four drops. The reason I only add a little bit at a time is because if it's at the aroma that I like, I stop. So it's more important that you like the blend. It's going to work even if you use one drop of each. Oh, that is really nice. And then we're going to take our inhaler and take our wick and just drop it right into the bowl and it's actually going to start saturating that. If you don't have a bowl, but you have an inhaler, you can actually set this right inside right inside of your inhaler it should stand up straight i guess i had to use my finger there we go and you can drop your essential oil directly onto the wick perfect right so and just let that settle there and then we're going to throw it inside put your lid on pop the top and you have just made yourself a study blend um, maybe you're learning a new skill for instance, like on the computers or laptops, a lemon is really great for helping the nervous system uh, support it and remaining uh, calm. Uh, it's also very good for uplifting the mood if you're a little bit frustrated. And the other thing is, is basil is very good. It's a very um, soothing, um, and yet at the same time, it's a stimulating herb for the mind, and it can help you combat mental fatigue. That smells good. So what's great about inhalers is that it can just be in your pocket and you can pull it out. And a little trick is that if you are studying or reading a book that you need to remember something or learning a new skill, go ahead and smell this before and while you're learning. Put that away. Then when you go back to take a test on it or when you need to recall it, go ahead and pull it back out and smell it. 
there is actually a better recall because of the scent. That's the way our body works. Now, let's say it's been a couple of weeks, three weeks, you've used it, and you really want more. Uh, and the wick is kind of drying out and things are getting old. You can take a paper clip, take the lid off. There's a little hole in there uh, at the top of the inhaler. And I want you to just push it down into the wick. And if I can get it, it will push it right through. So it might take just a few moments. Or you can pop it with a... I'm having a hard time getting it, of course. There it is. And it will pop right out the bottom. And when that baby is popped out the bottom, then you can just re-wet the wick. I'd say up to three or four times should be good to go. And this is the hard part about doing these things live with no edits, is that you see when I'm having a struggle. <laughs> uh, anyway, I will be able to get it. A lot of times I just pop it off, but if you don't, um, if you're not able to, this does work. It's just not working today. So we'll just push that baby through. Um, so let's say you don't have an inhaler. Then what we're going to do is you don't need to use eight drops. You're just going to use four or five drops because typically if you're going to use your your sandwich baggie with a cotton ball, that means you're using it almost immediately. It isn't anything that you save. So you could do just a couple drops of lemon, one drop of rosemary, and one drop of basil. Go ahead and close that. You can put it right in your baggie. You can close it up, and then when you need some, just smell it. Now, why would you use this? Let's say you're in a classroom or you're in an area where you don't really want to be uh, people smelling you. You don't really want to put it on your wrist. You can if you feel like you're all by yourself in your home. But I would also recommend because basil is more of a spicy oil, let's diffuse that. So if we were going to use a diffuser blend, you're going to fill up the reservoir to the fill line you're going to put it next to you where you're studying or where you're learning your new skill. And then we're going to actually, again, use more lemon, which we'll use five drops of lemon. And then we're going to take the rosemary and basil. And we want to do, um, I would say, three drops of basil. And then we're going to do two drops of rosemary. Put your diffuser on and let that baby go. Now you'll notice that I did 10 drops. If you're in a smaller room, like 300 square feet, you could drop that. You only need like seven drops. And just remember, you're really only inhaling the air that you're inhaling. So even if the aromatic molecules are all over the room, when you inhale, you're only inhaling that portion that you're breathing in. So it works very effectively. Another great way to use these alert essential oils of rosemary, basil, and lemon is to drop them on a paracord bracelet. It's one of my favorite little tricks. So lava rocks are great, acai beads are great. Uh, the only thing I like more about this paracord is, well, my husband uses it and my sons use it for school, is that it's down by the wrist, it's not smelling everywhere, and they can just bring it up when they need it, but also the smell doesn't stay. You can wash it out because that's basically cotton. Um, unlike lava beads where it holds the scent for days and days. So if you want to switch up your oils, a paracord bracelet is a great way to go and very inexpensive. So that is a great way to use your essential oil stimulating ben, a blend. Again, it's in the Freedom Bundle, which is lemon, basil, rosemary, and Energize. And I just want to recommend to you that you don't use this at night before bed. This is a very stimulating, alert type focus blend for the brain. It's kind of going to wake you up. So unless you want to stay up, I wouldn't advise you to do that right before bed. But other than that, I think first thing in the morning would be great. I think while you're reading the paper or teaching or learning a new skill, I think this would be a great solution. So thank you so much for joining us today at N8 Essentials, where one drop at a time and one project at a time, we're going to help you become a great aromatherapist in your own home. Thank you and we'll look forward to seeing you next week when we will be talking about this bundle for your hair. Have a great day and looking forward to seeing you next week.